this. This is the epididymis, which should be placed in the posterior side. This is the sinus of epididymis. This should come in the lateral side. So this is the anatomical position, and this is a uh, left testis. Okay. So now the position of the testis. The testis is going to be present inside the scrotum, that is present outside the abdominal cavity, suspended by the spermatic cord. Features if you are talking about two poles, you have upper pole and the lower pole. Both are con. Here, convex in structure, and the upper pole is going to provide attachment for the spermatic cord. Two borders: you have the anterior border and the posterior border. The anterior border is round, while the posterior border is straight. Okay, it is anterior border is completely covered by tunica uh, vaginalis, while the posterior border is covered only in the upper part because the rest is going to be uh, needed for the attachment of epididymis. You have two surfaces: you have the lateral surface and the median surface. Okay, now if you open the Testis. We are going to have three coverings of testis. You have uh, tunica vaginalis, okay? Tunica albuginea and tunica vasculosa. So tunica vaginalis is the outermost covering. Then after that, you are going to have tunica uh, albuginea that is going to form the lobes of the testis that is going to arise from the mediastinal testis. And finally, mediastinal. this entire thing is the mediastinal testis. Finally, the tunica vasculosa is going to be covering of the uh, lobes, lining of the uh, lining of the lobes.